Okay, so this is going to be a shorter lesson, and this is going to be based around the concept of filtering your proxies as you go. And that's just to keep a high success rate. Now, if you can see here, I've just run today's free proxies using our free proxy sources um, that we've posted on our website in the free resource section. I went through that in lesson one. Now, today, we actually received 529, down the bottom here we can see, 529 good proxies from total of 3,600 proxies. I mean, that is a very high amount of good complete proxies that you actually won't find in Scrapebox itself. Um, but the thing is that this 529 free proxies that work now won't work all of them in an hour's time. And if I do a big harvesting session, they won't all work then either. So they're updated every 24 hours, right? But all these proxies won't be good for the entire 24 hours. Some might last longer, and some actually will last longer, but not all of them are going to stay um, in good form for the whole entire time. So what I want to do now is I've got my 529. I want to transfer um, good proxies to the main list. I'll do that now, and then I'll close this. Um, I've got my... I've got 529 proxies here. If I go and run a big harvesting session now, what will happen is I will kill some of these proxies off myself. Some of them will get banned, some of them will get blocked. And of course, there are other people using these proxies as well because they are free. So whoever else is using these proxies is contributing to the rate at which they will decline in usefulness. Now, it's okay because they're updated every 24 hours, but in essence, if I run a big harvesting session and I'm trying to use dead proxies to post on in my commenting, which would be step four, I'm going to have a lower success rate. So what I want to do is after I have effectively done a big harvesting session is go back to manage proxies. Now I've only got 500 proxies in this list now, or 529, so this will be quite quick. But what I can do is I can just hit text proxies again and then it will run through all the proxies that I have and it will effectively um, figure out which are good and which are bad and then I can transfer those back to the main list. So if I did a big harvesting session I might rerun these proxies and find that I've now got 400 good proxies. But what I've effectively done is I've cancelled out that 100 proxies that's going to hold me back and prevent me having a good success rate. And that's ideally what you want to do when working with free proxies. You want to constantly harvest brand new and good proxies and get rid of the old bad ones. Um, now, if you can find some more free resources out there for proxies, please run them by us. We'd love to put them on, up on the website and share them with the community. And, you know, I mean, it's better to have a bigger range of resources with which we can all use. But paid proxies, of course, aren't going to drop dead on you because you're the only one using them. So you don't necessarily need to do this with um, paid proxies. But it's a good idea to do this with free proxies. So, point is, you do a big harvest, or you leave Scrapebox for an hour by itself, or you spend ages harvesting or scraping keywords, just refilter your proxies before you do anything. If you go and do a big um, commenting session, go back and just ha and just uh, test the proxies again and filter out the bad proxies. And just keep doing this every now and again um, between major projects, especially before commenting, because you want to have as high as possible success rate with commenting. Now, I could pay $30 a month to have 10 um, paid-for proxies, or I could have 529 free proxies, which uh, obviously provides a lot of value. Now, having 10 free proxies isn't a good thing, but having at least you know 200 of free proxies is quite valuable. So you don't actually need to buy paid proxies if you know what you're doing with free proxies and you've got some good sources. So that's the end of the lesson. Um, make sure you filter your proxies as you go. Uh, check back for the next one. It's going to be quite good. Alrighty, thank you.